I almost thought about becoming a stripper because I had such a low GPA. Oh god! <laughs> Bonk Deuce, ready for takeoff. What's going on guys? So, one of the most common concerns I think new applicants have is uh, whether they'll be able to get into the school of their choice with a low GPA. Right. And uh, him and I, especially me, are living proof that you totally can. And with these tips, we're going to help you out. Alright, the first tip for you guys is to do research. I can't tell you guys how many times, but research, research, research. Make sure you guys do your research. And I'll say pick about, let's say, six to seven different schools that you want to go to. At the most, yes. ten. At the most, if you, if you really want to push it. Definitely quality over quantity because you don't yeah. want to just throw everything out there and then you know you don't get what you want. And not all schools are the same, so yeah. those, make sure you look at those prereqs too. Those prereqs are really important. Yeah, the prereqs for one school may not be the same for another school. Right. So you want a list and just get a piece of paper out, type it all out, and just do school by school. And again, six to seven should suffice. Anything more, I mean 10 is fine, but anything more, you're just kind of now doing it for uh, quantity instead of quality. Also, if you're worried about like being a business major or some other major other than you know what being a physical therapy so you don't need to worry anything yeah. about it. We have friends that are like what business major? Yeah well, I have a couple in my class and that are business uh, majors. Yeah they're they're in PT school too without you know all that Kines bio major background. So. It may help you initially but as long as you have the prereqs down you know because you, everybody has to take the same core classes for their program like anatomy and physiology they'll probably have to take biology maybe for your school you may have to take calculus so everybody's got to take the same classes regardless of their major so if you're really interested in business Go ahead and do business and just make sure you take those core classes. It may take you a little longer, who knows? But if that's what you're interested in as well, then why not do it? Tip number two, GPA. So know what GPA makes you actually eligible. So American Physical Therapy Association, APTA, APTA right? The website says 3.0 makes you eligible to be able to submit an application. Bull. Yeah, what, what he said. So. It may make you eligible, but that doesn't mean that makes you competitive, yeah. right? So you may pay the fee and submit, but all they got was your money. That was it. Um, you're not really going to be competitive unless you have uh, at least, I'd say, 3.5. You can maybe, with some schools, get away with a 3.4. There is hope. So 3.4, but at least 3.5 if you're really trying to get into a, a school that's really top school. 3.5 is minimum. Um, and then anything above that, even better. If you have a 4.0, why are you watching this? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't even need to be here. Tip number three. Communication. You need to get in touch with an advisor, a faculty So staff, important. Somebody in that school to make sure that you're on that right track. It's really important. If you have uh, a school that you want to attend that's nearby, right. try and go and schedule a meeting to go and meet with them. Yes. That's what I yes. had to Make do sure personally. You meet with them. Yeah. That way they can put a name to your face and that way they know who you are, what you're about, and it's almost like a pre-interview, right? So they kind of know you already and then when you go and apply, you let them know, hey, I'm going to be apl applying thanks to all your guys' help and just, you know, that way they know to look out for your name. If you stood up to them, then they'll definitely, definitely give you an interview. So make sure you, you get in contact with them and then make sure you have a relationship with them. That. So bug the crap out of them. He's so just right. Bug the crap out of them. Like, he's right. Just email after email after email. Just bug Once the they respond, ask another question. Yeah. Maybe you already know the answer to it, but just keep asking. Ask that two way more questions. Know. Ask three more questions. More questions, Come. more, give him more! Sure, sure. calm down, calm okay, down. Okay. That was kind of how I got in. So, little quick story time. Um, I was going, uh, I was in undergrad, and I decided I'm going to apply, right? But I didn't know how I was gonna get in, I didn't know um, the GPA requirements, I didn't know anything. So the number one thing that I did, and I will never regret it, I just emailed someone there. I emailed the head of the department, I think, and then he referred me to one of his colleagues, and I got to know her, and uh, I went in and I talked to her, and I brought in all my grades and my GPA. She plugged it all in and said, okay, you are not uh, competitive enough to get into the school but here's what you can do to be competitive to get into the school and then basically long story short I had to take like seven extra classes during that one quarter right before I had to go and apply I basically went into like hermit mode and just you know did it um, did so it seven classes yeah I like seven or eight total that I had to take 
extra just to get in, but I, I knew I needed to do it for that application process, like last year, the year before's application process. So then I can at least see how um, it's run. And then in my mind, it was I'll do it, get experience, and then apply again next year because I thought I basically wasn't gonna get in because of our conversation. Don't lose hope. That was all made possible to bring it all back because I got in contact with the advisor at that school. So make sure you guys get in touch with all the advisors and have them know you personally. Um, I probably emailed that person over that summer at least 50 times. Like our the Stop. conversations, it was, <laughs> crazy i always thought maybe i'm bugging her i shouldn't but i just did it anyway and because of that she got to know me and she knew right. how badly i wanted it so she uh really helped me in terms of in terms of getting that into that school that, that makes a difference if you get in or not it's definitely that relationship that, with the person yeah, yeah because that personal touch you, you never know you know like the little finesse you never know yeah, you, you gotta do that. You gotta finesse every time. You may be watching this video because you have a low GPA right now, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road. That just means that you gotta get creative now in terms of who you talk to, who knows you. It's not about who you know, but who knows you. So make yeah. sure you remember that. Yeah, and just don't give up. Tip number four, the dreaded GRE. All right, one thing you should know, if you're short on time, and you don't really have a school preference, yeah. research into the schools that may not require a GRE, right. okay? So there are very few out there, but they are there. And so like we are going to a school that doesn't didn't require us to take the GRE, but that means that our GPA had to be higher. Right. So for other schools, you guys may be applying to yeah. schools that do require the GRE. That means if you have a low GPA, the higher your GRE score, the the better it'll be because it'll kind of match up and then that's how they determine your overall score to see if you're competitive or not. So it's not the end of the road if you have a low GPA. If you're applying to schools that require a GRE, just make sure you study hard for that and get a higher GRE to kind of off-balance that. What he said. I got it covered. All right, now you have all of this information. What are you going to do with it? Do not throw it away, okay? Do not do what you just did. Right. What you're gonna do is use this information and put it to good use. Make sure you use it and then put in your effort, time, and pain, and sweat, blood, tears, everything. Put it into that. All the bottom of your Everything. And remember, effort will never betray you. Never. It so, up in the so jumping off of that, if you guys have any further questions, I know there were some other points that we didn't get a chance to hit. We didn't want to make, make the video too long. Um, if there's any question that you guys have, we just went through the process. So you can message us off of YouTube. I think that's an, um, you can do that. If not, social media. We have. Facebook and we have our Instagram personal and our channel one that'll be all linked below and then speaking of links We'll try to include some links that will help you guys for the application process and remember good luck guys And um, if you have any questions, let us know Okay, go <laughs> oh, oh, you want me to? Oh, I thought okay, you were okay. gonna go. Okay. Okay, you go. Okay. I don't want to record this, trust me. Oh, this is making a GPA school! <laughs> GPA school. <laughs> nice.